Donald Trump has revealed his stance on abortion. It's shocking to some, but it's not shocking to me. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about President Donald Trump revealing his stance on abortion just before the 2024 presidential election. Now, his stance is shocking to some, heartbreaking to some, but not to me. I expected he would say exactly what he's saying right now. Now, before we get to the five minute long video from True Social in which he goes into detail, let's back up a little bit. Remember, when Trump came into office, he brought on not one, not two, but three Supreme Court justices. And everybody knew that when that happened, he was going to repeal Roe v. Wade. And that's exactly what happened. Roe v. Wade got repealed. Now, this was a quote unquote law of the land. And since Roe v. Wade has been repealed, the issue of abortion gets kicked back to the states. So if you're living in California and you want to have on demand abortion whenever, wherever, then that's fine. If you're living in Florida, Tennessee, Texas, Georgia, another place, and you don't want that, you want heartbeat bills, then you can have it. The right of abortion is up to the states, what the people of that state want. You go and vote for it. We got an election happening right now in 2024 in Florida. They're going to vote on a heartbeat bill. That makes sense. But some people thought that when Roe v. Wade got repealed, Trump was going to pass a nationwide abortion ban or a heartbeat bill or a certain number of weeks. No, no, no. What he's saying Right now is that the right of abortion will be up to the states. He will not pass a nationwide abortion ban or restriction, which is what I expect. Why would you repeal Roe v. Wade, which basically the law of the land, a quote unquote federal thing. Why would you repeal that and kick it back to the states to then bring it back to the federales? That makes no sense to me at all, because what will happen is this. If you repeal Roe v. Wade, kick to the states, and then bring it back to the federales, and you pass some kind of restriction, the next guy in who could be a Democrat could just reverse it on the same federal level. The point is to get the federales out of the way. Now, before I go any further, let's get into his clip here. And of course, I will link to everything I'm talking about right now in the description. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Under my leadership, the Republican Party will always support the creation of strong, thriving, and healthy American families. We want to make it easier for mothers and families to have babies, not harder. That includes supporting the availability of fertility treatments like IVF in every state in America. Like the overwhelming majority of Americans, including the vast majority of Republicans, conservatives, Christians, and pro-life Americans, I strongly support the availability of IVF for couples who are trying to have a precious baby. What could be more beautiful or better than that? So far, so good. I don't hear anything that's wrong with what he's saying. Today, I'm pleased that the Alabama legislature has acted very quickly and passed legislation that preserves the availability of IVF in Alabama. They really did a great and fast job. The Republican Party should always be on the side of the miracle of life and the side of mothers, father, their beautiful babies, and that's what we are. IVF is an important part of that, and our great Republican Party will always be with you in your quest for the ultimate joy in life. Many people have asked me what my position is on abortion and abortion rights, especially since I was proudly the person responsible for the ending of something that all legal scholars, both sides, wanted and, in fact, demanded be ended. Roe v. Wade. Here we go. What's he going to say? What's his stance on it? I've kind of revealed it, but let's hear him go into detail. And ending Roe v. Wade was great, if nothing else, to get the federal government out of the way of issues that should be states' rights issues. They wanted it ended. It must be remembered that the Democrats are the radical ones on this position because they support abortion up to and even beyond the ninth month. The concept of having an abortion in the later months and even execution after birth, and that's exactly what it is, 
the baby is born, the baby is executed after birth is unacceptable, and almost everyone agrees with that. My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. Many states will be different. Many will have a different number of weeks, or some will have more conservative than others, and that's what they will be. At the end of the day, this is all about the will of the people. You must follow your heart or, in many cases, your religion or your faith. Do what's right for your family and do what's right for yourself. Do what's right for your children. Do what's right for our country and vote. So important to vote. At the end of the day, it's all about will of the people. That's where we are right now, and that's what we want, the will of the people. I want to thank the six justices, Chief Justice John Roberts, Clarence Thomas, Samuel Alito, Brett Kavanaugh, Amy Coney Barrett, and Neil Gorsuch, incredible people, for having the courage to allow this long-term, hard-fought battle to finally end. This 50-year battle over Roe v. Wade took it out of the federal hands and brought it into the hearts, minds, and vote of the people in each state. That's the way that it should be, 100%. It shouldn't be a federal thing because, again, if Trump was to take this back to the feds and try to pass some kind of ban or restriction on a federal level, then the next guy who could be a Democrat would do the same thing, and then it would never end. So let's not have the federales be in control. Let's let the states do it. All right. If you're living in a state where you got crazy abortion laws, then, hey, that's on y'all in that state. California, I know how it is. You got these big cities dominating. What are you going to do? That might need to be an internal battle within that state. But what I don't want is for a person like Gavin Newsom to become president in however many years, knock on wood. And then he take the same California policies and enact them nationwide. I don't want that. It was really something. Now it's up to the states to do the right thing. Like Ronald Reagan, I am strongly in favor of exceptions for rape, incest, and life of the mother. You must follow your heart on this issue. But remember, you must also win elections to restore our culture and, in fact, to save our country, which is currently and very sadly a nation in decline. Our nation needs help. It needs unity. It needs us all to work closely together. Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative, everyone, we have to work together. We have to bring our nation back from the brink, and that's where it is. It's at the brink, and we will. We will do it. I promise you, we will do it. Always go by your heart, but we must win. We have to win. We are a failing nation but we can be a failing nation no longer. We will make our nation great. We will make our nation greater than ever before. Thank you very much. Under my So there we have it. That is the statement from Donald J. Trump that he put out over on True Social about the issue of abortion. Let's let it go right back to the States. I agree with that 100%. Now, as I close, I want to say this. Some of you guys might not agree with me. Some of you guys say, hey, I don't like this. I think Trump should be really hard on abortion. He should have it on a federal level. Well, look, I, I just don't understand that. That was the whole point of repealing Roe v. Wade was make it be a state thing. Now, you can have your individual opinion about abortion and you could be vocal about that. But let the states decide you're living in a place where they want that. Then so be it. And also, I'm not quite sure, even if. Trump wanted to do a federal thing. I'm not quite sure how popular that would be. It's going to be a test. Let's go and see what happens in Florida in November. They passed a heartbeat bill, and I think also a 15-week bill. So I think it was 15 and the 6. Those both passed. I think they are going to enforce the 15, and then one month later enforce the 6. But in November, those will be up for vote. And Floridians will decide, do you want the heartbeat bill? Do you want the 15-week bill? We're going to see in MAGA country, red state Florida, how well that does. And you might be surprised by the results. People think that the issue of abortion and wanting to restrict it and ban it is widely accepted by conservatives. I'm not really sure about that. 
in some parts of the country, yes. But in all parts of the country, in all parts of red states, enough to really get enough support? I don't know about that. And again, we're going to see what happens when you're talking about individual states and how they vote. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on what Donald Trump said here? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you want him to go harder on the issue of abortion? Do you want him to kind of back off and not say too much? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. He said exactly what I thought that he would say. I thought that was the whole point of repealing Roe v. Wade to get the federal government out of the way and leave it up to the states. Now, I'm not in favor of abortion. I'm not in favor of what a place like California might do. I'm not in favor of that at all. But at the same time, I think that if Californians want that, let them have it. I'm all for less federal government intrusion into the matters of uh, individual states. It's just like when Californians who are conservative talk about Los Angeles and San Francisco having too much control over the state. How about Washington, D.C. having too much control over every state? That is my problem. It doesn't matter what the issue is, whether it be abortion, whether it be taxes, whether it be this, that, and the third. The federal government is too big, too much in the way, and their power should be lessened. And this issue is just one of many ways in which their power can be lessened. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that is all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.